Hey guys, Jeremy Chikowitz here from Brunch Boys. This is all about my food adventures all over the world. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's very, it's very nice seeing you in there, hello. Uh, so today we are going on an adventure to accomplish two different things. Let's start with number one. Uh, if you've seen past few videos, we've been running tests on a beautiful Canon EOS R5, which is what I'm filming on right now. We've been running some real world practical tests on the camera. So today's test is gonna be all about a full vlogging day to see, well, how it holds up. Cause there's been some certain issues and we've run some restaurant shoot tests, we've run some photo shoot tests, we've run some tests in the apartment. Except for when I push it really, really hard, it's been a fantastic camera. But this is going to be the hardest I've pushed it in a real world scenario today of a full day of going back and forth between photos and videos. So, we will see what happens, but the adventure we're going on is almost more important, or probably more. Is it more important? Maybe it's more important. We're going to Connecticut. So I'm going to go pick up Randy Greenberg uh, from Girl Scout Eat. She came with me on the video last week when we went upstate to New York. And we're going to New Haven, Connecticut to get some New Haven style pizza. So New Haven style pizza, it's like very thin crust. It is coal fired and it is delicious. And there are three main places uh, in New Haven uh, that are they're supposed to be the best. You got Frank Pepe's, the OG. They're all OGs at this point, they're all souls. But you got Frank Pepe's, you got Modern Pizza, and you got Sally's Pizza. Apparently a pizza is like what you would call this pizza. I don't know. This is a very basic Google search of what I'm <laughs> trying to figure out. But anyway, those are the three main places. That's the adventure today. Put the R5 through the ringer, get some good New Haven stuff pizza, so. Let's go. Ah. Good morning. So glad I drove around in circles for you because oh, it's what, raining. That's what men do for women. That's what you're supposed to do. I told you do. it wasn't raining though. It is raining. No, it's not. It's raining. It's <laughs> raining and it's early and I'm tired and I'm cold. <laughs> and now I'm wet. But pizza. Pizza, New Haven pizza. Oh God, this thing's in my face all Any day. Any thoughts? High def in my face. Any thought? Oh, we're in 4K HQ. It's even more high def than oh, usual. Gosh. Any thoughts on New Haven pizza my, before we take off? The only time I've been there is with my ex. We took a trip there and I have only negative memories associated with it. So I'm excited to make new memories with you and bicker with you there. Great, okay, cool. Well, well, let's go. We are in New Haven because Yale is making me an honorary graduate of the school. Um, you didn't laugh. Wow. Wait, that was wow. a joke? <laughs> oh. I really bombed in this Well, video. so like, <laughs> well, what actually happened was we sat in a bunch of traffic, but we made it to our first stop, which is uh, Modern Pizza. We are in New Haven. We're doing the trinity of all the pizza places. Yeah, I set this all up earlier. You did? Yeah, like I set everything up at the apartment. So everyone knows what's happening. Okay, right. uh, Remember when we filmed you getting into the car? That was because I already did an it intro. It was like a lifetime ago. Um, yeah, so we're here. This is our first stop. So um, the, the plan is though, they decided to try and get what is the best pizza at each place. That seemed like the, the most fair way. And we're just going to judge it on, I think the way we can judge it on is definitely crust. Everything. And sauce. Well, I mean. We get the clam pizza. This yeah, toppings. I think it's a, I think it's a, a lot to put okay. it together. Whatever. Okay, sure. That that works. <laughs> All right, future Jeremy here. Uh, I had some audio issues, which we will discuss in a minute. But basically what you're missing is us talking about how just incredible this pizza is. Really flavorful, perfect crust, lots of spice going on, and especially that lemon. Ooh, great, great combo. Modern, very good. Very good, big fan. Great crust, great flavor, great ingredients. I'm excited to have the other one stack up. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, so we have stop number two, Sally's Pizza. Uh, we're meeting up here with my friend Susie Hunter, who is a local news lady. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend I'm not so far away from the right. curb. No, I you're don't fine. Don't start over. You have to start over. You're once you. Susie, we are our grace of our local pizza expert. Yes, yes, uh, okay. I like to think so. <laughs> so I've sampled all of the pizzas. Which okay. is your favorite? Um, so actually, I would say in the city limits of New Haven, modern wow. is my favorite. Oh. But okay. of New Haven style, the party is. Yeah, that's my one favorite. we weren't. We didn't. We we just. Deci <laughs> I decided that against that one. Maybe. It's so good and it often gets left out of which New Haven pizza is the best pizza because it's in West Haven, the next town over. Chewy, like chewy yeah. cheese. What? Yeah. A like crust, great flavor, lots of herbs. Just a little wet. I can't mm. just no. it. It's straight from the ocean. Uh, Sue's left us. She was up. Uh, let me look in the lens. Sue's left us. Uh, she's been up since two in the morning. So, mm -hmm. or the only one that I've ever been to, which is Frank Pepe's, um, to get our third clam pie of the day. I'm yeah, but it's a little bit, so we place our order, it's a little bit of wait, so it's gonna hang out for half an hour, and then uh, pie number three. Yep. Okay, there are, there's clearly a B, I would say there's a B problem. The B pandemic at Yale. Well, I guess there's no bees left in New York City, so oh. like, bless, that means like the environment's getting better, right? Bees are good, so we should be happy if we see bees. But they're very annoying. They've been everywhere. But anyway, we got the last pizza here. Want to try? Yes. Initial it seems thought thicker. is that there's no cheese on it. Literally, I can't take a bite. Of it. It's definitely thicker, right? The clams are a little clammy. Oh, that sounds crazy. Mm. No, it is much more oceany than what we've had. Ocean, there's no cheese on it really. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for like a cheesier pie, that's this is not it. It's more like a. <laughs> I... <laughs> Putting this down, get the fucking bees away from my face. Jesus Christ. It's interesting when I think, like, when I think of what was described to me as New Haven pizza, it was much more like Neapolitan style, which is what we had the two other ways. It's like very thin. This crust is not that it's bad; it's just a little bit more chewy, so it's it's just different. Um. <laughs> oh my god, I I cannot stand this. You know what? Fuck the bees. I want them gone. I, I don't know. Is... I thought that the other two had like, there's no like oregano on this. There's no seasoning. Like, it's fine. If I just had this and I didn't You'd have the other like two pizzas, great. I would be like, this is good. I'm happy I ate this. I'm not mad at this. There's a lot of garlic on it, but like. No seasoning, almost no cheese. Yeah, I think. I think after having the other two, this is and maybe, maybe I, but I know like this is what you're supposed to get at Frank Pepe's. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that like, I think it's almost like this one is more standard. I think if I were to break them all down, I think when I think of modern, I'm thinking of like the lemon on there. Clearly, like literally, there was a I piece. I can't live like this. I, or take two. The bees I, hopefully went away. I feel Ooh. like I'm disappointed because I wanted to like Frank Pepe's the best because I know this it's is like the OG. Like it's really, the original one really too. Known for. Mm -hmm. But like maybe the other people learned that they were the OGs and just like made it better. Had to do something different. Yeah, I mean, sort of what I was saying before was like when I think of modern, I think of the lemon on there. Mm -hmm. I think just it had more salt, it had more acidity. My favorite flavor was Moderna. Modern. 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 Moderna. Moderna. Moderna pizza. My favorite overall experience, mm -hmm. like cheese, herbs, um, the taste of the clams was modern. Sally's is my second favorite. Mm. Very close second. Like, mm. really good. Yeah. Really good seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, tons of garlic. Nice cheese. Just a little wet for me. This is the opposite. Little, this is, yeah. like, dry. There's, like, yeah. God, I'm so bummed. I, like, wanted it to be so good. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the order. I think it's, if you just want to eat one, modern. Modern. I think I think it is fun to do. They're all pretty close to each other. Like, yeah. Sally's and, and Frank's are literally down the street from each other. Modern is just another like five-minute job, yeah. uh, drive, not even. Yeah. So it's it's fun to do all of them. 
um, Raina left the leftovers in the car. So guess what happens to clam pizza that's been sitting in the car for a while? I thought we would take it back to New York. So it's gonna smell interesting on the way back, but I think overall, uh -huh. we picked a definite winner. And like I, I said this in stories earlier, but which you guys didn't see, but I said, you know, nobody likes things more than when out of towners come into a place and tell them what the best thing is. Yeah. But that's what we're doing. We're out of town hours. So we're well, telling listen, we're you. We're experts. The We've eaten a lot of places and we're New Yorkers who are experts in pizza. That's true. I just, I feel like, you know, we did all of them and I picked my favorite. And maybe, maybe some people like dry pizza with no seasoning on it um, and no I'm cheese. I'm sort of bummed we didn't do the all sauce at Sally's. I know we talked about that. Like, that yeah. is also what they're known for. And like, that just looked interesting. But just like, we, we, there's only so much pizza we could eat. You know what I mean? Also, I will say, I would be happy to give it another chance in the restaurant. Because, like, maybe this is a yeah. little bit drier because it sat in the car for 10 minutes. And speaking of, I, I will say the only place where they even had seating at all was mm -hmm. Sally's. And that was the most enjoyable. Like, currently, we went to the Yale campus and we sat outside of the goddamn okay. music academy something. It's beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah, so if you want to, like, actually sit down, there's yeah. only one place for you to do that. Yeah. I mean, you could eat it in the parking lot at Frank's, but... Uh, yeah, you could stand in a parking lot and eat pizza. Um, so here you have it. Modern, number one. That's it. All right. Let's go back into our smelly clam, clam filled card. Bees. I love you. And bees are good. I, I don't want to complain. It just, yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days later. I've edited most of the video, which you have just seen. Uh, and uh, let's sort of talk about how we did. Uh, one, let's just get to the audio issues first. As you saw, I had some audio issues. I still don't super know what happened. Uh, I, it, I mean, like my initial guess was just like, I didn't have the <laughs> jack all the way in, which is what it sounded like. But then it was odd. Obviously I fixed it, but then the next day I was filming something else uh, in the apartment and audio was fine. Click stop on the uh, click stop, hit record again, and then the audio was out. Weird? I don't know. Maybe it's still not <laughs> plugged in properly. This all seems to be user error, not R5 error, but um, a little weird. But anyway, uh, in terms of how the camera held up, uh, let me just pull up these stats for you guys. So. Uh, the shoot lasted, we were shooting filming in Connecticut for about uh, four hours in total maybe. And obviously like stop and go, not filming the whole time. Uh, I took 113 photos and it ended up with 20 minutes of footage all on the 4K HQ 24 frames per second. And uh, this is very bright, sorry, let me get off the screen. Um, and I had no issues. Uh, I think that Here's the thing, I, again, like all these tests are, very, are my real world tests of how I would be using the camera. We've obviously seen that it does overheat, it overheated for me. We obviously saw that it took a very, very long time for it to come back on. Um, but for my normal workflow, it just doesn't look like it's affecting it that much. Is it on my mind while I'm filming? Yeah, a little bit, but I think with any camera that you get, you sort of have to learn the quirks of it and produce knowing that, especially for like a prosumer camera, unless you're gonna go big and heavy, you know, there are limitations to smaller cameras and you sort of work around it. So it hasn't just, it just hasn't been that, been that big of a deal for me. Um, I don't, I don't know, you know, I'm going to continue to film with it, obviously, um, and just see how it goes. Cause we have, let's see, what's the date here? I have about uh, a week and a half left. Uh, we can have two weeks left to decide if I want to return it or not. But right now I feel like I, I want to keep it just, when it works, it works so well that that outdoes when it doesn't work well. So, so far so good in terms of the way I use the camera and that's truly what it's all about. So uh, yeah, the, 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 the test will continue, but if you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram too, at Brunch Boys. You can DM me there if you have any questions. I've been having lots of conversations about this camera. Obviously, we're in video like a bajillion <laughs> focus on the R5. But you guys seem to like it. I like talking about it. So it's all totally good. Uh, like the video. Make sure you subscribe because, again, we're we'll be filming more of the R5 and giving you guys updates on what's happening. 
And finally, I will make a total wrap up video on whether I decide to keep the camera or not keep the camera. But the test shall continue and I will continue to eat well too. So until then, I will see you guys next time.